Hey everybody. So today I'm going to be working on this here plant bonsai. I don't even know what to call it. it from what I remember, it's called a um, climbing aloe. So I don't know a whole lot about them except that when you cut the top off, it branches. And it branches a lot. So Anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim it way back and get it back into some some sort of sense. And I don't know, I really like this plant. It's a, it's a pretty interesting plant. I've had this one for quite a while. I don't remember if I've done a video on it. I don't think I have. So I guess this will be its debut video. It started off as one, one piece. I got another one right here. This one also started off as one piece. Like I said, you just cut the top off and it grows new shoots. Got another one right here. Kind of a simple one. Actually, I have one right here. This is that's what it looked like when I got it from the garden center. Uh, my sister bought me one. And she, because she wanted one, so she got me one too. And and then three years later, turned into this. It's got some, I got some dust on it because I was grinding on a rock earlier. So I don't mind that. This will all come off. Um, it looks like it's in pretty decent shape still from winter. It hasn't really started growing a whole lot yet. About from here to the top, that's the new growth from this year right here. So I'm going to cut all that off because I want these to not be so long because that comes out the bottom and it's all the way up here. So I want to kind of make some more sense out of this and make it look um, a little bit more compact for this, for this pot that it's in. And I think I am going to repot this at the end here and it's... It's one of those type of plants that grows a lot of roots. Um, so, anyway, this probably should have been repotted last year, but it did just fine over the winter. Uh, so I'm gonna just clean it up, get all the dead stuff out, get some of the lower leaves off of it. And you can just snip the leaves, just cut them straight across. I always leave the leaves on there Except the dead ones, I'll, I'll pull off and get all the dead parts of it off. But when it has a live leaf, I'll just cut it straight across and let it fall off on its own. Because if you take the if you take the live leaf off and you pull it off all the way, then it makes the trunk really thin, kind of like this one is really thin, and then it just can't hold itself up, so it'll break off eventually. So the other thing, reason why I'm cutting a lot of these off is to lighten up each branch so that they can kind of grow upwards a little bit. Kind of looks like a uh, pineapple. I might take some of this lower stuff off altogether. And make new I can make a new plant with that really all you have to do is clean up the bottom leaves like that and really just put it in some dirt and it'll start growing don't water it for a while but it let it start growing roots before you water it but yeah it just they just grow really easy from uh, cutting so this was my original one. All these other ones are cuttings off of this one. So every time I cut a branch off, I put it in a pot and it just grows another tree. So it's actually a pretty, pretty interesting plant like that. I'm not gonna keep all of the branches, but I think I will keep a couple more branches.
I might just leave this one tall. One thing about these trees or these plants that I've noticed, they really like a lot of water. The the leaves will get really flimsy and and um, squishy when they don't have enough water. This is something that you could probably put in a really well draining soil and water it pretty much every day, and they'll they'll do just fine, especially in a hot climate. I just use uh, my typical bonsai soil for the soil for these. You could use like a, a cactus mix too, that would work really well. Just something that's well draining. And uh, easy to water so that they can just drink what they need and then the rest of it will dry out the, by the end of the day. Kind of look like palm trees almost. <laughs> this is a really cool plant. I really like this this plant. I've I've really enjoyed working with it. I think it's also really cool that they propagate really easily. One thing I like about plants that you can propagate really easily, you can make a whole bunch of them and do them in different shapes and different um, patterns or have just one shoot or a whole bunch of them and just do them all different so that you can just see different ways of different ways of growing them all right i think i'm gonna leave it like that i think that looks pretty good so i'm gonna grab my tray I'm going to try to put the soil into. And I made a new uh, root rake. I had a copper tube that I cut a slice out of it and made a rake with it. So I'm going to use that today. So I'm just going to grab it by the trunk. I think there's some moss up right there. Just grab by the trunk here. Of course, it's going to be tough to get out of the pod. I'm not really worried about damaging the roots on this one. Obviously, you want to be somewhat careful, but damaging a little bit of the roots isn't going to hurt this because it's just going to throw them right back. really stuck in there. This pot has a little bit of a lip on it, so that's why it's giving me so much trouble getting it out. I kind of want to be careful of prying on the edge of the pot. You don't want to break the pot. Some 
massive roots. That tiny little pot. So first thing I'm going to do, and you can lay these down. They're not going to get damaged unless you push on them or something. First thing I'm going to do is grab my root pruning scissors. And I'm just going to go go to town on these roots. Trim them back quite a ways. Probably trim them back to where it's at the soil level. And obviously I'm putting all this in the compost. Drainage screen. Got roots growing through it. Well, the screen's all contorted. That's crazy. So I'm going to just cut the big roots off the bottom here, roll it over, put on these roots off the side. Really with this tree, I'm not trying to do like the whole radial root base or any of that with it because that doesn't last very long. I mean, I'll try and keep some of the top looking decent maybe but the bottom stuff is just it's just gonna turn into giant roots like that anyway so it's not not like I can keep it from doing that and honestly it's got a relatively radial roots anyway I don't want to take all the dirt out. I just want to see what the top of the roots look like so I can cut the ones that are facing upwards. Any of the dead roots, they generally just pull right off. So if you have any of those, cut them back. That looks pretty good. Nice little root ball. The soil is pretty well used up. I will save it because I always save my bonsai soil. I'll wash it, clean it out, and get all the, the roots out and all that stuff. Turn that into compost. And the rest of it I'll save. I'm gonna go grab my bonsai soil here. So, I saved the soil from the last trees that I repotted, and I cleaned it. So, I have that right here. I'm going to get the pot out a little bit better. It's kind of an interesting pot. It's all glazed on the inside too. I think it was kind of an inexpensive pot, but that's all right. Any pot will work. All right, new drainage screen. Put a layer. This stuff's not actually dry yet. That's all right. Typically, I like to have um, dry bonsai soil when I'm working. It's easier to put the roots but this will be alright. Alright so I'm gonna get it down in there. Scrub
push it. Yeah. It's pretty good. I'm just gonna fill around the edges. Chopstick, get it in there. And I know y'all have seen this process before, so I'll probably speed this up. And then All right, so it looks like it's sitting a little bit lower in the pot. So I think this will do really well for this growing season. Um, I'll probably post another video on it in the near future. Uh, maybe I don't know, when it starts getting some new growth, I'll, I'll post a, a video of it and a couple of the other trees that I've done, give a, like an update on them. But there you have it. And I will see you on the next one. Thank you for watching.